But you don't actually have to get COVID to suffer medical side effects from the pandemic. People working from home are reporting everything from neck and back pain to headaches to sore feet. Heidi Wigdahl looks into these pandemic pains and what you can do about them. For the past year, changes to our routines have left us out of tune with our bodies. Adam Levy went from playing on stages to spending more time at home. I live in an artist loft, so it's concrete floors. I realized I was putting like undue compression on my feet and just did some more research and figure out I had plantar fasciitis. While Adam had pain in his feet, partner Wendy Wheelahan noticed tightness in her neck, shoulders, and lower back. I am a couple and family therapist, so I spend several hours a day sitting normally, but being home has meant that there's just been subtle changes of a little less activity, so instead of walking down a flight of stairs, I end up just going, you know, in the room next door. To help, Wendy goes to a massage therapist monthly. So tech neck is the most common, so neck, shoulders, headaches. Kanisha Amani of Amore Holistic Healing says these issues stem from makeshift workspaces. It's actually more now than before because they've kind of been in this situation for an extended period, um, and so they've been sedentary, sitting in these you know, scrunched position for a long time. Kanisha says with people not moving as much, she sees injuries that would normally come from playing sports. I have a client who played tennis often and now she has an issue with her Achilles tendon just from petting her dog. A lot of the ergonomics have changed. Jesse Lilliord is the founder of Cairo for Moms and Cairo for Kids in Wyzetta. They also see issues related to kids distance learning. The kids were in these positions where they'd have to be in front of a screen for longer periods of time and without their normal desks. They're kind of cooped up in their rooms a lot of the day on screens. Anya Kosemba noticed kids Elfie, Cleo and Mila were having a harder time falling asleep. Nights are harder just because nobody is very tired. Their bodies aren't worn out. Anya says her daughters also get headaches more. Oh, it's good to get like outside breaks or just stretch. From taking walks outside to changing our workspaces, there are ways to cope. Jesse keeps their yoga mats out and recommends using an exercise ball to help with posture. You're naturally going to be sitting up a little straighter. Um, you're inducing the natural curve of your back. The balance component adds a lot for your core, which is a big deal. Find things around your home to prop up your screens so you're not hunched over and use keyboard and mouse extensions. If you're on the pad just doing this, you get a lot of compression through that tunnel and that's the inflammation that really creeps in and you know it'll make your fingers numb it's painful set their timers on their phone or their smart watches to get up from their desk because a lot of times they kind of get trapped into this zone of working non-stop without actually moving while moving inside use these reflexology shoes like the fits for art support and to stimulate blood pressure through your legs to avoid inflammation that causes foot knee leg hip and back pain. It's huge. I just wear them all day long when I'm not wearing regular shoes. All ways to help us be more in tune with our bodies. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News.